This video content is not intended for children. Well, look who finally found all the catfish heads. All right, we're back at Skeletor Park. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here today to fish with some grubs because I tried fishing for bass earlier, but I couldn't get a bite. A quick tutorial on how to rig and fish the float and grub rig. I got two jig heads here. These are tied on with polymer knots, but you could use a clinch knot. It doesn't really matter. It's not so much about having perfect action as it is just getting out there to where the fish are. The float adds a little bit of extra weight. It helps me detect the bite. And it also helps regulate how deep my grubs are swimming. I got them set to about three and a half feet. But when you pull that bobber, it's going to lift the jigs. So they probably swim closer to two feet. Man, did you see all those vultures? Fish. There's the first fish of the day. Let's get down here and get them. Yellow bass, I'm guessing. Nice big yellow bass. Yeah, that's a good looking fish. I'd say it's about a 10 incher. Spiny, watch out for that. Good fish though, let's let it go. Hi, this is Brayden from Michigan and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. That's one so far in the grub rig. Let's see if there's any more out there. Ah, oh, tangled up. There we go. I'm gonna raise this up just a bit. Let's go this way. There we go. What do we got? Another yellow, probably. Nice. Another yellow bass. Not quite as big as that last one. This looks more like about a eight or nine incher. Yeah, good looking fish. Let's clean off my grubs, get back out there. What's up guys, this is Jordan from Dude Fish TV and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There's a bite. Let's get him in here. Another yellow, I'm guessing. Oh, maybe not. What is this? 
jumped out of the water. It's a skipjack herring. All right. Came off the hook, but I got him. There we go. We got about a 12 inch skipjack herring here. Got him on that. Yeah, got him on that grub rig. Clean up my jigs. Getting a lot of this algae and stuff on there. I'm just using that real pause, real pause method. I just pause to give them an opportunity to bite. Sometimes they bite on the pause, sometimes they bite while I'm reeling it in. Like that, they chased it right there. See that? Probably a skipjack, maybe a yellow bass. There we go, fish on. Feels like a pretty good fish. I'm guessing it's a yellow, but it could be another skipjack. Oh, it's a yellow, a big fat yellow bass. Another jumbo 10 inch stripe. And we are another jumbo 10 inch stripe. Look at this fish. Now that's a nice fish. Yeah. Look at how big he is compared to my hand. 10 incher. Hello, this is John in the UK. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Yeah, good one. Let's see if we can do it again. They're not in here super thick, you know, I'm not getting one every cast, but there are a few out here. The stripe are starting their run. You know, the big ones, not just the small juveniles. We're getting some big yellow bass out here. So if you have panfish running in your area, like big bluegill, crappie, yellow bass, Maybe you can try a double grub float rig. Two grubs doubles your chances of getting bit. The bobber adds a little bit of castability. It helps regulate the depth and it helps detect the bite. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Pile of trash, trash can. Pile of trash, trash can. Lazy assholes. This is Craig from Fishing with Lord Almighty, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Yeah, let's go try down here. This looks like a good spot. Oh yeah, let's pick up this trash. <laughs>